Hey friends, what's up? Derek here from Bomb Socks, back with another day of Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ and we do it one bite at a time. So for 1 Corinthians chapter 9, I want to give you a little bit of context, just for some great verses here that many of you are probably very familiar with, very familiar in the Christian world. Let me show you here again, Corinth, okay, here's where it's at. It's down right in that area of Greece, over by Athens. It's also over by a place called Olympia and Sparta. Now you're probably like, I've heard of those places. So you got the first Olympic games that take place there in Sparta was a place where, again, a lot of contests of sorts took place. So you got these ancient Olympic games as the context. Now, as I read in chapter 9, I picture Paul standing there in an area where maybe some kind of contest or some kind of race has taken place. Running was certainly a thing there. And so I picture him speaking with this context in mind. As you go to chapter 9, verse 24, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Now as you read those on the surface, I get it, you kind of get what's going on, but like I said, when you're often reading the writings of Paul, it's good to go to other versions of the scriptures. Let me show you the NIV here, the New International Version. I do like what this teaches here with these verses in mind. Do ye not know, again, this is chapter 9, verse 24, do ye not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. I love that. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. I love that too. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. So you keep in mind what Paul's trying to teach here. He's really teaching the principle of enduring to the end. Now you go back to this idea of running. I am not a runner. I know that shocks all of you, but I do know there's a lot of people watching this who are runners. It would be interesting to have you chime in and share with us what are some gospel principles that are associated with with running, especially this question, and I know a lot of you have different opinions on this, and that's okay. What keeps you running when you get tired and you don't want to run in the race anymore? I know I was talking to a friend of mine who runs a lot, and he said whenever he's running in a race and he starts to feel like he can't make it, he will often slow down, he will sometimes walk in the race, but he never stops moving in the race. He recognizes that for him personally, what he said is like, if I stop, if I sit down, I am done. There's no way I'm jumping back in this race. So the idea of just keeping moving forward as you're going through this. So a little principle here is if you'll keep your eternal goals in mind, you keep that finish line in mind, whenever that finish line is or whatever it is for you, then you'll be able to endure to the end of the race, whatever race you are running in. I would imagine as you're running, especially in a marathon type of a thing. You've got to keep the end game in mind. You've got to keep that end goal. And you know along the way there's going to be some kind of opposition that's going to stop you at certain parts of the race. There's some great principles here. But I'd love to hear what you guys say. If you are runners, chime in, please. So I love what Elder Holland said. This idea of run that she might obtain. I testify that no one of us is less treasured or cherished of God than another. I testify that he loves each of us. Insecurities, anxieties, self-image and all. He doesn't measure our talents or our looks. He does doesn't measure our professions or our possessions. He cheers on every runner, calling out that the race is against sin, not against each other. So as you read these verses, just keep in mind if there is a certain race, metaphorical, spiritual, whatever that is, that you are currently going through, I think there's some great principles to remember that Paul teaches here to help us continue to endure to the end. I love this message and I'm grateful for it. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks as always for sharing. So grateful that you always do that for us. And please, if you haven't already, check out our amazingly comfortable gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Godspeed. Bye-bye.